I'm not you. flying back to New Jersey to get my passport. I, you know, that's you. I'm what do you a, mean yeah, that's I'm, you? I'm not a mover and shaker like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm I, going where I said I was going, oh, and, see, I'm, and I'm, I'm coming back. I'm going where, where I said I was going, but I might go somewhere else. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, I ain't got, I ain't got time for. All I might that. be gone for three months. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, we're we're aware, of Lamica. <laughs> I think the guests are aware too. Well, I just I it was, was one time. I was yeah, exactly. <laughs> in in time. less than in less than what six months? It was one time. I would already had this plan. I already was going on these. This yeah, I hear you. You know, yeah. I mean, already had this plan. You sound like a job. You sound like you sound you <laughs> yeah. sound like an evil employer. No, <laughs> no. I don't know if we're gonna have the money for uh, health care, but no. <laughs> No. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's going on, man? I can't call it. How you feeling? How you living? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Feeling good. Yeah. Uh, the Miseducation of Peggy Hill. Great, isn't it? You just got that, huh? Mm-hmm. Look behind you. Dying. 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 <laughs> Dying. Bobby. <laughs> I tell you what. It's a great show. I was watching it last night. This is such a good show. Just a simple show. Like, it's just mm-hmm. like a... Still rooted in good family values. You know, so simple. Yeah. So great. Better times. You know they're bringing it back. Of course they are. What is that, Matt Groening? Is that Matt Groening? No, no, no. That's That's, uh, uh, Mike Judge. Mike Mike Judge. Mike Judge. Mike Judge did what? Idiocracy. Idiocracy. He He also did did Extract. Okay. He also did... uh, 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 He did something else. No, no, my favorite, Office Space. There you go. There, yeah. there you go, <laughs> that, ooh, bro. Office Space is one of the best movies. No, uh, like, amazing. I, it's one of those. It's a lexicon movie. It's like one of those. It's trapped in time. Like it, it's a moment movie. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. everybody was destroying fax ma- a copy machine in in the middle of a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hit your ass with the resurrection. <laughs> Yo, okay. Orlando Jones has that small caveat. When he walks in, he's like, I am selling magazines because I am trying to get off crack. <laughs> I miss Orlando Jones, like, working consistently and just popping up in movies. You know, there was a time where Orlando Jones basically lived with me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kind of crazy, right? So, check this out. When we were doing, uh, when I was, when me and Ruckus lived together, right? Uh-huh. In that crib. So, Ruckus has been friends with Orlando Jones for years. Uh-huh. I guess through the Lenny Kravitz connection, whatever. Okay. And <laughs> Orlando Jones would be at the house all the time. So, when he would come in to shoot, uh, he had some show on Fox at the time. Uh-huh. When he would come out to shoot that, he'd stay in our guest bedroom. Really? Yeah. You you know that armoire that I have in my uh, bedroom? Yeah, Orlando Jones. Orlando Jones. <laughs> Jones about, you see that box? Wait, you see that box that the yeah that that's that the plant sitting on? Or- Orlando, Orlando Jones, Jones told me to buy. <laughs> he went with me to buy this shit. It's like I can't make this up. Oh. No, I'm so I'm so glad I only have good good things to say about Orlando oh, Jones. Like, okay, and then this was during the era where uh, I'm in love with the cocoa was very big. Oh, so yeah. I would walk into like kitchen and he'd be like. Baking soda. I <laughs> got baking soda. Like he, he's one of those guys, like true comedian. Like you can tell he's always testing out. Bits. He's always on. Yeah. He's always. Yeah. 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 It's, it's pretty funny. Shout no, out Orlando Jones. I love that guy. I, Orlando Jones is, you know. You know what's what, your favorite Orlando Jones role? Uh, double take. <laughs> My man. Come on. I love that with Eddie on. Griffin. Man, what a movie. <laughs> What a movie. I'm, I'm trying to think of the most quotable ones. Where he's, uh, my name is, oh, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, where he's sitting at the, uh, at oh, his desk. Oh, when he's doing the, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It, you know what? I'm not, I'm looking back. It doesn't have as many quotables as you think it does. But, you know, remember them niggas are dancing outside of the, uh, the gas station? You niggas. Oh, yeah. That was my oh. shit. <laughs> no, my shit was, uh, what was it? E- evolution? Uh, uh, evolution with oh, Sean William yeah. Scott. Yeah, I do remember and that. And David Duchovny. Yeah, Duchovny. Duchovny. <laughs> well, you said like an old du- black Duchovny. 
David Duchovny. Duchovny. <laughs> David Duchovny. 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 You gotta say what's <laughs> David Duchovny. David Duchovny. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you some things about him. I heard that man was a sex addict. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, he made a show about it. <laughs> you, you would think it would it would spark <laughs> something. Isn't that amazing when you have enough money and you're good looking enough to be a, an addict of, of sex? You know, listen. <laughs> you, you know, I did X Files. You know, like that's cool. They all want to fuck me. Like, yeah, but no, you know but, what I'm but saying? When you bring yourself to that, like, Cali- all the weird goth fornication. Chi- I've been fucking these weird goth chicks that are into X Files since I've uh, been in the X Files. Like, about that. I've been like all the hot, crazy, yeah. Chicks want me. Back in the day when like <laughs> nose rings were like, ooh, yeah, yeah though. The cup that was I the company was their bag. That was that was light work for That me. was daddy to them back in the day. So That's like they was like so the company was cleaning up. I know the company was cleaning up. Oh, and, bro, and then when California Cation came out across his guest, he was like, It's me. And he does theater. So you know he's get bro, he's David the company. He's David fucking Duchovny. That's pretty. Isn't it crazy? Like, but there's only three shows we're really gonna attach to him. And two, Californication and X Files. And X Files. <laughs> like, damn, what a career! Hey, I know all, he's done. Other first shit. of all, X Files. Okay. Is the crut like it's the beginning of sci-fi long-term like. Monster of the week, but also developing story. I, what what else was bef- what was before X Files other than um, uh, what's it called um, uh, Twin Peaks? But that wasn't really like yeah, that was different. You know what I'm saying? How do you spell uh, <laughs> do co- is it D U? Yeah, write, that's why just write you X Files. That's, that's, right. <laughs> that's why you spe- say it like that. Is David Do Coveney? Do Coveney? Uh, okay, so the X Files, the X Files. Californication, evolution. Yeah, he's in evolution also. That's why I'm talking. That's why we're talking about him. No, but we were talking about Orlando Jones. And you said evolution. Yeah, because he's in evolution. Uh, but right. then I said Sean William Scott, and then David, David Duchovny. Duchovny. Good point. Uh, let me see. What what has he been doing all this time since X Files? Do you have to do anything? No, you don't. But I like. I know he wants to. Like oh. when you have a prime. I'm talking about like when you're the lead of a prime. No, 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 no. Show. You don't. No, no, you don't. But I'm just saying. Like, I know he works. I know he likes acting. So like, yeah, he's in that new shit, The Sympathizer, that's on Max. Nope. Uh, it it has uh, what's his name in it? Uh, who's the new Doctor Doom? Uh, uh Robert Downey Jr. Yes. Okay. Uh, did we talk about that? Yes, we did. We talked about that last week. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Pet Cemetery, Bloodlines. Oh man, I actually like this show. Ten year old Tom. I didn't know he was in that. Uh, Reverse the Curse, History of the World. You people, what? You oh, people. It's the it's a black people. movie. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. When you said you people, I'm like, no, no, it's a black movie. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay Lamica. No, no. No, <laughs> I don't like this. It sounds like a dog was. Oh, that show Aquarius. I remember he had this shit. It I, looks like he only got two seasons. Yeah, it, it didn't do work but like Californication, that. Californication. They got them seven, seven seasons. Seven years. Seven bro. years on goddamn. You only need five. Well, back in the day, you only need yeah. five. I don't think that counts now, anymore. Now you need... It depends on how many episodes they want to give you. I feel like Supernatural was the last show that actually went into syndication that like you still see on TNT when you're at that the gym. That is true, yeah. Am I tripping? Like Supernatural, I forgot all about that Oh, show. Supernatural was my favorite show growing up. You you probably watched like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And shit. I absolutely did with all of my heart. And I'll say it with my whole motherfucking chest. Yeah, that wasn't my... Spikes... Spike and Angel's story in Buffy. I loved Angel. I loved Angel, Buffy. I loved Charmed. Okay. Oh, Charmed. I re- <laughs> wow, you was watching all that bullshit. Yeah, so no one can ever say shit to me about liking women shit. Like, like, <laughs> oh, you're a male vasu. No, I, Buffy got me started in this shit. Like, That's Buffy funny. opened me up. Charm, yeah. <laughs> so Charm. Gotta be a better way to work that one. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> There's always a better way, but I, I'm very selective of my words. 
I say things how I want them to sound. <laughs> you take it how you, you th- want. You think I didn't already think that that's how you were going to take it when I said it? You like, come on, bro. Uh, yo, that, that is... <laughs> I've already thought of every possible way you could think about what I've just, what I'm about to say. I've already thought of everything way you could take it. I don't care. <laughs> I do it for the lulls. I do it for the lulls. I do it for the lulls. So Supernatural started 2005. That was the old of my 2020. Do you Jesus under, do you under, Christ. Do you understand what I'm fucking saying? This is almost like Bones. Oh, it kills Bones. No, Bones did. Bones did work. Bones did maybe eight or nine. No, no, no. Supernatural did did 15. Bones did way more than that. And it was on five. Supernatural did like 16 seasons, bro. It's nowhere close. There's no other show <laughs> other than Young and the Restless. Bones did 2005 to 2017. Ooh, they, only, what I'm they only got three, they only three off? That's what I'm saying. Swear to God. Bones did But work. you know who that is? Angel. Bitch. Oh, the Buffy? That, Angel, yes. That's, oh, that's, wow. that's Buffy's original love. And then he got a spinoff and was, and was Angel. Wow. Ain't that's Angel Buffy? He's been he he's been my that's been my day one guy. I did, one. Wow, yeah. I didn't even realize that Spike loves Spike. You didn't realize that that was I never watched these shows. Oh man, they're so wait is that good charisma card? Yeah, that looks like Buddy from uh, uh the Hangovers. No, no, I know, but it doesn't look like him. He uh, sings the songs and shit. Yeah, no, he was uh he was the guy. I know he, this black man. That's Malik Yelba. No, it's not Malik Elba. That's not Malik Elba. No, it's not Malik Elba. I know who Malik. I love New York under the cu- undercover. That's not Malik. Oh, Yoba. that's J. August Richards. Malik Yoba. You said Malik Elba. I said Malik Yoba. You said Malik Elba. I said Yoba. <laughs> Yoba. Yoba. I know. I know. You <laughs> said Malik. I, Elba. I think if anybody know who Idris Elba is, I know who Idris. Yeah, Elba. but who is Malik? Elba? <laughs> Malik Elba. Yo, that would be a that would be a different kind of actor. <laughs> and you can fuse them two niggas. Bro, fuse them together. J. August Richards, yeah. Wasn't was this in... nigga in Drumline? Yes, he was the bad guy. Yeah, okay. I'm like looking like I don't But this that's is... also um that's uh that's uh that's uh what's his name's boy? Uh not who he he did the Avengers. Uh Josh Wedden. Because Josh Wedding created Buffy and Angel. Josh Wedding. Josh Wedding. He directed Avengers 1 and Avengers Age of Ultron. Okay. J-O-S-S Wedding. Wheaton. Yeah. Oh, jo- J-O-S-S. Josh. J-O-S-S. Was he Swedish? Yeah. I don't know. I think that's Josh it. Whedon. Oh, there's no pictures. I think it's the wrong person. Because, No. I think it's the wrong person because no. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. J-O-S-S-W-E-G. Okay. J-O-S-S-W-E. Oh, yep. W-H-E-D-O-N. Yeah. Ah, Josh. Josh Whedon. Uh, let's see. Buffy, Angel, Firefly, Serenity, The Avengers. These, that's his. Those, that, his list is cold. He's getting bread. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He he doesn't have to work anymore. He he produced. Yeah, he did Cabin in the Woods, Avengers. He made Firefly. He's, Alien he's, Resurrection. Oh, the Toy Story. No, 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 no. Wait, no, what? Did, okay. No, 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 no. There's no. He 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 might have been a writer on Toy Story, but he oh, did yeah. not. He might have just written some of Toy Story. Yeah, he, like bread, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My, <laughs> his resistance are crazy. <laughs> Let's see, writer previous. Yeah, it's hilarious. He's gonna be a writer on Toy Story. Screenplay <laughs> by screenplay by. <laughs> you did the screenplay for Toy Story? Yeah. He's the man. Story editor for Roseanne. For Roseanne. He's been getting money since 89. And oh. since 95 when he did Buffy the Vampire Sayer, 97. He did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And he brings all of his Buffy people on. And he puts all of his Buffy people on and Serenity people on. Wow. Now have you. He did get in a little trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, Joss Whedon. Yeah, he got in a little trouble because he was he had here. He's an asshole. Oh. And when he when he took um when he took uh Zack Snyder's spot. Uh, oh yeah. Because Zack Snyder's daughter ended uh, uh transitioned herself. Okay. Um. 
Zack Snyder did he dropped out Josh Wheaton took over the movie but the Zack Snyder you know how the Snyder cut came out yeah and he had basically shot 80% of the movie already right Josh came in and changed the whole movie and that's why Superman's face looked so funny in in uh in that one uh what which one this is Justice League movie yes Justice League so he came in, redid everything, made it look awful, and made, tried to make the Justice League look like the Avengers, but like using Frankenstein's monster from fucking his movie, the uh, the other movie that was already made. I'm gonna make my own movie, and then we're gonna collide them, and this is how we're gonna really. You didn't know that about? Well, I knew that they had the Zack Snyder cut, and they had the other, but I didn't understand what. what so was Josh reason. came in and was like, he recolored everything. He shot mad new shit like and it just was discombobulated but what what was his point in doing that i think uh i think they were nervous because batman versus superman didn't do uh well. it didn't do what they wanted i think batman and superman made like 850 900 million dollars or something oh, that's not that's not that much no right but it's batman versus superman so it's like you that have two of that should be at least a billion if it's not a billion it's a bust, it's a bust yeah so um batman versus superman didn't hit that bill b so when justice league came and zack snyder got out and everybody was complaining they were like oh this is our opportunity to make it he already did avengers and avengers age of ultron this is our opportunity to take his palette and put it on justice league on dc versus marvel right and he did it, and he made a, a, a incoherent movie. Yeah, but why not just let Zack Snyder just release his? They did on, uh, on HBO why. Max, and that's why they did. Because that. it was like it was like disrespectful what Josh came in. Like it was literally was like he shat on his. Like there's an entire. Why does Zack allow this? Though? Like I'm just trying to understand. Like if I'm Zack Snyder, and I know I know I matter that much, I'd be like. No, I shot 80% of the movie. Fuck that. I'm going to finish this movie. Or I don't know if it was a why would Zach allow this because you've already not hit the B that we needed you to on this movie. So now we are here because his wife is one of the executives. Oh, like wow. his wife is one of the producers. So like they work together. So like but then his wife's daughter. Right. So we need time part. Then they probably was like, oh, this is an opportunity that we can, you know, just let's try to course correct right right and in that it became awful it was a terrible movie it didn't make uh, it made way less more money, money than did. batman versus superman and then josh got in trouble for being mean to the crew he cut out a oh, cyborg there's literally <laughs> oh yeah the black guy right the black guy yeah there's literally an entire plot line that that zack snyder shot and Cyborg is actually like the crux of the story because he has a MacGuffin inside of him. So it's like, you need, we need to get him. He's the only reason. Josh went and cut that whole shit out. That man. that man was barely in the movie. And being that he took all that out, that's really what made the movie not make sense. Oh. And then people were just popping in out of nowhere. And you're like, that don't equate to nothing. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Uh, one of my friends, uh, my friend's dad is uh, friends with, I think, the guy who plays Cyborg. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so he did the whole thing where he was like, yo, release the Snyder Cut. This guy's racist. And then they went back to Buffy, and one of the younger characters who played uh -oh. Buffy's little sister, we found out that Joss wasn't allowed to be around her. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> And so, yeah, <sighs> shit like that. So that man, and it's crazy because it's like it's always the greats. Yeah, it's always the Some, best. A, a, screw, a screw is always loose. It's always the best. Yeah, it's like, bro, like, I like making movies and I like other things. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's always them. I don't know. Anyway, I, I digress. I, I do, I do want to know where he's from. I love from, Buffy. So I can't keep doing a Swedish accent. He's not. He's not from Sweden. Josh Whedon sounds like he's from Josh Whedon from Sweden. The I'm sure they probably would it. say that shit this nigga college. Born, this nigga born in New York. <laughs> I'm Josh. <laughs> Josh Whedon. I yeah. like a lot of things. He yeah. likes a lot of things. Likes a lot of, lot of things. Uh, where Did we you going? see Drake?
dropped a whole hundred gigabytes worth of you know what I said stuff. I I see what he's doing. I, I like if you have you gone to the website. It's a website. Yeah, it's got a a, a hundred gigs on your head top. No, just a hundred gigs dot com. Well, first off, the there's <laughs> one song he's doing. Um, he's doing a straight up like Jamaican accent. It's actually kind of funny. It, it's like really. Uh, oh, 100gigs.org. Why but does did Drake he, have a .org? This you're like, not from here. Uh, and then also, because uh, it's like 100 no, gigs. Like, but how, it's not music. It's not. I know. It's only like four songs. It's three It's three songs, and then the rest is like. Video, video random video. But or it's him. smart, because it's like him back in the day in the studio. So you're seeing. I write Fisher, this myself. I it's, write. It's, he's trying to show you. He's like, hey, remember when? <laughs> remember, remember when I was struggling trying to make it? Just like you guys. Now you want to now you want to tear me down, but let's be real. I was just like you once. I was, I just wanted to be next to Wayne. Never, they got him. And it worked. And, it, it's, and it's working because I'm over here like, you know what I did? I I went and listened. I started listening to songs written by Drake in the gym today. <laughs> that that's what bumped you up. No, I was like, I want to like, cause like I I think I got it. I, I've been adamant that like I'm not I don't hate Drake I love yeah. Drake he's my number one played artist I'm going to listen to Drake right. like you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna but I just need to clean my palate for a second mm -hmm. and instead of me going and listening to Mad Drake I'm like let me listen to the songs he wrote he stuck his foot in the mind of the Beyonce song that he oh, did yeah yeah nigga that nigga is a wonderful songwriter no he's fantastic he's a, <laughs> like he is a Beautiful songwriter. I want. I want to try to find some of the old uh, videos. It's a bunch of stu like studio videos. But when you see the old school ones, he got the him in the strip club getting the girls cleaning up the money and whatnot after he. Leaves. I'm just like man, get these bitches a, a, a chicken nugget. Get these bitches a chicken nugget. <laughs> I love that it starts that way. Get your chicken nugget. I need some napkin. Put the chicken nugget in your mouth. I need like it's a dick. Wow, he probably shouldn't. Have, he probably should have released that one. I don't think that, that was Drake that he, said that. He doesn't that know that's that. up there. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens know. when you drop a hundred gigs. gigs worth of stuff. It's Six thirty in the morning. Oh my yeah, this is this is his we camera guy. Up another... Who just happened? They opening up another bottle. There you go. The forty playing the piano. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of you know cool stuff in here. It's I, I get it. It's you know nah like member member berries. Mem they are. This is really what it is. It's member berries. But like I said, I love Drake. Like I remember. It's so funny though. I don't know if it's Forty who like posted all this stuff. Just throwing in some duct tape to make a little. It's cool though to see like I almost feel like these are all the like point. 40s memories. Loki. Yeah, cuz but the fact that 40 Why is 40 doing that? I mean, I get it. You know, he's setting up his studio, but like someone else should be setting that up. Oh, like someone else should be plugging shit. I don't I just I don't know. It might have been uh, yeah, it might have been early in the game though. You know. Nah. You said no. Nah. <laughs> you said they had a they had a videographer at all times. It nah. wasn't early. <laughs> no. Nah. I know how they look when early in the game was a thing. I know how 40 looked when early in the, in the game. That's like middle of the game. <laughs> <laughs> middle of the game. It's like halftime. It's like halftime <laughs> and you're LeBron. Uh, <laughs> like, that's funny. But yeah, so he dropped all this. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, no, yeah. I, listen, listen. I'm going to go through it. I don't, I'm not going to go through it. No, it, it's a lot. And some of it is like incoherent. So yeah, just kinda I, like, I'll uh, allow people to disseminate it for me. But I think what he has here is enough pieces for someone to just make a documentary for him. Oh, that's actually genius. And I think that's what he's... Wow, yeah. that's actually great. Yeah, here's enough stuff for you guys to throw together a documentary yourselves. Everybody mm -hmm. can do their own documentary. Yep, some can be, you know... In wow. You know? It's hey, Drake, so funny that we're thinking like... <laughs> it's so... No. <laughs> what? No. Idea team? I give Drake okay. some ideas. yeah, yeah, yeah. What you mean? Because he's he'll work you to death. And no one will ever see you again. <laughs> see these are see these are the member berries. Remember, I was just like you guys. I was just trying to make it. 
Something that you don't know. I don't know why you muted. Then it should be friends. Then it's another thing that like you that. don't show. I can tell. 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 people don't like me no more. Don't excite me no more. Never like me no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate myself. They don't pay myself, but still Tell the girls in Tell them all, meet them all At the table with a shell <laughs> Before See, the beer drink I want this nigga I remember when I said Let's bring polo. back civility in, in politics Bring back civility in drink Because he doesn't look civil anymore Like he doesn't look Like he looks you remember, like that was his thing. He looks like the guy to bring your daughter home. You, you want to, your, your oh, daughter yeah. to bring home. You were almost okay with a black guy bringing her yeah, home. Yeah, you know, what I mean? if it was if it was that Drake, this Drake <laughs> is a villain. <laughs> I would never, if my daughter brought that man home with those tattoos over his eyebrows and under and his, his eyelids. Listen, listen. What does it mean? You've killed people. He's Drake? gonna pull up in his white BMW. That's what he looks like. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. The other Drake with the little Jufro, I like, I, okay. This Drake, I just said, no, confused. absolutely. No, that Drake looks like he fucks bitches. <laughs> like, that that guy looks like he fucks. And it's like, you bring my daughter, my daughter, you gonna, you wanna just fuck my daughter? Drake with the, <laughs> that guy looks like he pimps. He pimps hoes. So it's like, you show. wanna pimp my daughter, sir? You wanna pimp my <laughs> daughter? No! <laughs> you, you pimp, get your you and your pimp ways out of here. And your, I, get the fuck out of here, you fucking. And your Paul Wall Grill. You Paul Wall Grill, you devious pimp. No, but that guy right there, that guy is serious when he started doing shit with his hair. So you know like, what it is? So, so when he had a normal hair, when he started putting little parts in it, I'm gonna put a heart in it. Oh, I'm gonna braid it. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, so, that's when the problem. When it look at look clean cut. No, oh, right there, clean cut Drake next to the heart Drake. See right. that that guy? It's the beard too. So you know what it is. So you're telling me the Drake on the left is uh, honorable young man. He might and, might. And you're telling me the Drake on the right is a menace. Him, I would if my all right, my daughter brings him home, I'd bully him, but I'd feel comfortable. Right. Like I'd be like, You better bring my goddamn daughter. You'd be treating that, him like like uh, bad boys too. I'd be like, yeah, 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 I be treating him. Can you fight? Yeah, can you fight? <laughs> Nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that guy, can you fight? This guy, I'm nervous for my daughter and what she's about to be surrounded you're about by. To go smoke some and hookah. what you're about to go smoke some hookah. It's gonna smell like strong cologne. Oh my you god. Are. I don't know who he's gonna bring you around. Him, he's not he's it's just you and him. You guys aren't about to go see mad people. And that guy freaky ass nigga, he's a sixty nine. He's guy. a that guy's a sixty nine <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a Just, fan. He's a fan. No, man, stop doing shit with your hair, Drake. First and foremost, either do the small Jew curl or the fade with no cuts in it, and get rid of the beard, or bring the beard back down to where it's a uh, shadow. Bring, the, the, bring that polo back. We though. need to bring the polo back, and you need to lose some weight. I think you might have. Yeah, gained, I think gained, you might have gained, gained some muscle. muscle. Yeah. And and that's also a problem. <laughs> that's also a problem. Look, he has one little tattoo on his yeah. arm. Yeah. Now look at it. It's all it's, it's washed. It's the money with Aaliyah and all these women. All these women. It's it's the money, man. It's the... okay. That's enough of Drake. You know what else has been going on? <laughs> Will Smith did something. Oh no! It sounds the, yeah. Um, the haha. Okay. What is, he's oh, rapping. The... Uh, well, we did that. We did. Yeah. Um, so apparently, I'm going to butcher this name, Iwa Swoboda, the really hot. Uh, I like how she looks. Yeah, she looks really good. She She's. Uh, uh, what about her? She's going to uh, race I Show Speed. Oh really? Is she? Yeah, she's gonna race speed, which is actually because speed cool. is fast. And, and yeah, and speed was fast to jump on this too. <laughs> he was his speed seems to be a oh, smart man. He was like, "Yo, I know." Yeah, he saw know this. And he was like, run. "She like to run. I like to run too." Yeah, we can run. Yeah, together. we can run together. We should set it up. I got a platform. I like the tattoos and the shape. 
Yeah, it's she, that her body has taken because of because of the running. All the running. Yes, fantastic shape. I mean, these are some real gothic tattoos. It's super gothic. She got those like those those like Los Feliz type tattoos. Yeah, she's a Wiccan. <laughs> she's a Wiccan. Where's she from? Pol- Poland. Yeah. Look at look look. I knew you was going to that one. Look at <laughs> look at those muscles. Yeah. Now, look at the muscles it's in the crazy. leg. All the muscles <laughs> in the leg going down, all the way down. Yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that calf muscles. That is insane. That is insane. Yeah. And then she gets the nails done. She's yeah. She's. I see a lot of wood. Uh, <laughs> I see a lot of brand deals in her future. Yeah. Yeah. I also see some type of. Um, massive fall from grace eventually something happens or she does something that makes oh. everyone mad and turns well, against her sure. because she tweeted she has a gun on her and on her and yo when i saw <laughs> that I was like, and there's the picture of their shoes i literally like, said it right before i even see the gun on her fucking bicep it's like okay <laughs> i guess <laughs> that, that i guess that's a olympic but no but that's why we like her she, she looks like a problem she's edgy she's <laughs> edgy. everybody likes a little edge yeah. no i i think uh i i see some brand deals and possibly a uh black athlete in her future <laughs> you, wanna a, you wanna take uh you want to you want to take uh you want to see if uh this you want to take bets yeah. To see who, uh, what she's I gonna... can't guess which athlete it'll be. But you, you're you just saying black athlete. Yeah, I you think. You think that she's going to pop out with a black athlete. I think I think she w- I don't know how Poland will feel about it. Is Poland racist? Yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure they are. Then she definitely likes niggas. Oh, for sure. Yeah, her vibe is, I mean, she's going to, this is going to bring her out into like the Hollywood world because the speed stuff. And niggas out. is going to be on her. On head. her Heavy. And because the thing is, I don't even know if this is like white men's like, I, they're steeds, not really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They like small, petite, like niggas like that. The, like, the, <laughs> I, I, like I said, I think the mixture of the nails, the personality, the like, even even the like, I saluting it, like the yeah. it's like you are into the. Got a nice little. Aura. She was listening to Future before she, has she a went nice ran. Little aura yes. about her. Yeah. You know. Uh, or yeah. or it's the complete opposite. And we're completely wrong. We're either 100% right or we're completely wrong. I don't think there's like a middle ground. She fucked niggas. Yeah. Maybe she'll get a soccer player. As that, long as they're black, then we will That'll the be bet. safe, though. Well, uh, you know, hey, I don't know. They make more money. They're more loved yeah. <laughs> globally. That's how it works. The more money you make, the more you're loved. Yeah, yeah. Is there? I need to find over a black Olympian now, please. Uh, oh, so if you can. No, uh, you know who had. The, you know who had the best. You know who had, like, runners were killing it. Uh, uh, uh Saint Lucia. Saint Lu. Oh, she is bad. Uh, Shikari. <laughs> <laughs> did Shikari win a? Uh, did Shikari win a, a gold? I don't really keep up with that. Maybe. I I know some Did Biles the last won. chick win a gold? Uh, I I don't know. I you said, you're like, bro. <laughs> that I wasn't why I brought this up. That's not why I'm talking about. Uh, where, there was a few of them. I remember I was looking at because you I see all of this passively. Oh, did Saint Lucia beat uh, Shikari? I, I, man, there's so many. I, I found out they're called heats. So there's so many heats that I don't really know. Uh, let me see. Female runners Olympics. Oh, the 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 the, the dude won too. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the dude who likes the anime. Anime, stuff. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yes. Okay. Wait. Ooh. I like left and I like right. <laughs> I like left and I like right. Man, I, we almost should just stream the Olympics <laughs> and then we can talk about this because <laughs> it's crazy. Because every time I would sit and watch and turn on something, then I'd be like. Oh wait, who's yeah? Hmm. Oh, there was no, there was one girl who's from uh uh uh, uh oh man, it's a it's a tiny island all the way on the outskirts of a uh, uh, uh bro, it's t- tiny, it's a tiny island. Uh, uh damn, I can't think of it. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't even know the island was where it is. Mm-hmm. And she was, she was really good looking. The runners be, they just be so in shape. But the, I noticed the. Hottest uh, Olympians are usually the because uh, that 
Yeah, no. I'm not. Nope. No, they, I'm not. They, yeah, look, I, I, didn't, I didn't stop there intentionally. Um, the, the, the hottest of the are usually the uh, the ones who do uh, what Simone Biles does, the like tumbling and the the. Uh, if Simone Biles just had maybe one more inch, I, I knew you were gonna. Yeah, yeah she is. She is a She's so petite young lady. Tiny. Yeah. She's a champion though. Yeah, why are they showing me all these people? You know, it's funny. Maybe these are just all the people who won. Maybe. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of <laughs> here. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it. You're the one who made me go look for more. I looked at what I wanted to look at. Damn it. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. Oh, man. Snoop Dogg just running around. Man. I think they gave like... them 500K a day. No, they're not. I think they're giving them 500000 a day and expensive pay. And, you know, he's going to run it back in L.A. Gotta have him do it in that. Well, you can't not have him. That's what so I mean. this has just started a whole four oh, year. He's about to get every a, four years. I get twenty million dollars. Yeah, facts. He's because it's gonna go up to at least six hundred fifty thousand for LA, seven hundred maybe because and you, I know home. you need me, and I'm home. So and you're still gonna pay for all expenses. Oh paid. no, I'm home, and you're still gonna pay me more. And you're gonna put me up somewhere because and where. <laughs> You're, you know why? Because I'm not driving in this I'm shit. Dri- you're putting me. I'm up, not driving through. You're this putting shit. me up in the nicest LA penthouse in Los. Fuck. The, I'm. I'm leaving. leaving. <laughs> Bro, we. I'm where, leaving. Wherever you, you're thinking of going, we should go. We no, should I'm leaving. The, I'm leaving the country for like a month. I'm, I'm gonna just fucking leave. Let's fucking just leave. We should leave. And for when when the Olympics comes to LA, gone. Let's just fucking leave. How long do they run? A month? Two months? I mean, that's all. I, I can't leave for that long. I can. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can. That's that's too long. But what I, do you mean? I I can. It should be like our retreat. It should be, <laughs> be it, like a retreat. You can make it like our, our company retreat. <laughs> retreat, and we can just shoot a new episode in a different country. It, day, we we day, have we day, have years to plan this. Day two. <sighs> so, uh, Lamica bought a timeshare today. <laughs> <laughs> but I can come here anytime. <laughs> no, you're, not, you're never coming back here, Lamaika. I'll, uh, oh, thank, I'll be back. Thank Bruno Mars. <laughs> like it's gonna be. Thank Bruno Mars. <laughs> <sighs> that would man. That would be nice. It's gonna be great. Where's uh? I'm trying to think. There was something else that happened that I was excited about. Uh, well, Kamala has a new running partner. I like him. I like him too. <laughs> I like him. I like him more than the candidate. I like him. I, 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 if we could, well, here's my thing about. If we could I, swap you him. know what? Her putting him in makes it so much easier for me to talk shit about her now. So, um, because <laughs> I like, because I like him, <laughs> so I can say wholeheartedly, I know where I'm voting. Right. But <laughs> I don't like cops. <laughs> like I just don't like prosecutors, bro. Like I don't like when it's your job and I know she was putting niggas in jail I know she had quotas and I know she was yeah. like she was doing a little she was I trying to move up she was trying to move up yeah. I, I never liked prosecutors mm-hmm. like I, I if you were if you go into politics and you were a prosecutor more than likely I am not going to like you bro yeah. like straight up and down mm-hmm. so it's like and I know prosecutors are look at my shirt what does it say defund the po- oh wow you're hilarious <laughs> I didn't even read his shirt. I don't agree with his shirt. I don't give a fuck what you agree with. I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm throwing that out there for, 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 for me. That's what. See, this is, this is why this works. There's somebody who's gonna hate me for saying what I say. There's somebody who's gonna look at you like he's an idiot. But together, it works. We're like the pirates. This is how. But by the way. This is how the world should work. Yeah. I should say, I think that's a ridiculous idea. You should say, ha ha, fuck you. And then we could be able to talk about it. And then we talk it. about and, it. And then after, if we still don't necessarily agree, it's like, I see I don't your think points. We're gonna, I, see- I don't think we're going to change each other's opinions, but it's like, we could talk to each other about it. And I could tell you what my true feelings are about right. it. Do I think we should do We talked about this last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I know. Just but people I'm wearing don't a do shirt, this. so let me just say oh, yeah, good point. Um. Do I think we should defund the police? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> but it's just like this. It's very similar to um, Black Lives Matter. So Black Lives Matter, I was always for the cause. Mm-hmm. I I was never about the the organization. I was about what Black Lives Matter meant. Black Lives Matter meant... <laughs> 
all lives matter can't all lives can't matter until black, black lives, lives matter. matter. Yeah. That's that's it. No, yeah. It's really that simple. It's, but- it's that simple. No more, no less. Yeah. What if anybody, whatever anybody else tries to do to it, tries to add to it, I have nothing to Steal do with that. Steal money from the idea through organizations. No, yeah, I have nothing, nothing, to, nothing to, do to do with, with that. that. Yeah, exactly. That is not. So when I say Black Lives Matter, that's what I mean by yeah. Black Lives Matter. I'm not Black saying LLC. No, no, not <laughs> yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. Defund the police. I think there needs to be a complete restructuring of the police, of the police force. Hundred yes, percent. Do I not? Do I not know that police are necessary? Duh. Yeah. Like, of course we need police. But man, some people just don't. Like that'd be the crazy part, though. Some there are just people. Once again, extremists. Extreme is never a good idea. I don't care which way you lean. Uh, but there, yeah, there are extremists who really feel like. Like, they don't think about how, like, all their views and the way that they feel about things, mm-hmm. how poorly that would they go. They thought it out. <laughs> if you defunded the police, because yeah. now it would be like, there's no one to speak up for you, and you have more problems than the average person. Yeah. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. So, yeah. what I say all that to say, I, I think the police should be defunded. Mm. I don't think they should have no funds, but I feel like... <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like yeah. we could take some shit away. Well, you know, like, I almost wouldn't take anything away. What I would take away is what I'm saying is militarizing police. Yeah, there you go. So that's what because mm-hmm. they've already started militarizing yes, them. Yeah. So when I say take things away, I mean like the tanks yeah. and like the uh, the things, <laughs> the are, rocket the launchers. launchers. <laughs> I, you know, it's crazy. The second thing when you after you said tanks, I was like, they probably got rocket launchers. They got <laughs> rocket launchers. <laughs> The grenades, <laughs> the grenades <laughs> like, you know, uh, like, yeah. like this shit like that. Yeah. I don't believe the police should have that because I don't believe the police should be able to attack their citizens, especially since we pay for them. So, um, and I think that we're going in the wrong route of, you know, um, giving them so much money to go to war against us. Right. Well, but, but I think that the problem or the overall problem with that, which is where, the where political stance starts to come in is the fact of you know why they're giving them that shit right it's not because the co- the cops are people just like us in theory you know what i mean like mm-hmm. these niggas are pawns just like us they're mm-hmm. just they may they're not even bishops they're like pawns, pawns. yeah they're pawns, they're pawns but they get like pawns with like a couple extra moves like that's what they get but this is all i was gonna say but when you I think bigger the actual government gives them these things because it's one of those situations where we need to be able they want to be able to check the population and that's yes yeah and there needs to be things you need to be there needs to be looming rep um oh my god I just completely looming there needs to be looming uh (laughs) repercussions for uh, what you are thinking about doing. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the police, even if like you're thinking about doing something bad, you still always have to think about the police getting your ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one of the... You know what I'm saying? That's it's, the one good thing about police. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That, and I, I completely, I ride with that, but I don't think they should be able to go against us. Also, when people like Trump say shit like, Oh, we should give them immunity. What? Because you just said they're people. You want to give people? Well, I I also would I I would also say, and I see where you're going. I would say that a that's a broad statement. So like, I would want to actually see what kind of stipulations and I don't know. They don't need no type of immunity. They need to be no. They need to be held accountable for everything they can possibly do. Yes, everything. Even if they make a mistake, they need to be held accountable. There, ne- there does not need to be a blanketed immunity. We, if you did oh, yeah, something, yeah, we fair. need to That's go in yeah, and look, yeah. see what happened. Right. When when I understood immunity, what I was thinking was it's not immunity to all. Well, what I understood, I, I don't know if this is right. Uh, I wasn't understanding immunity to all police. I was saying immunity in certain situations. So, I wouldn't give them immunity in any and, No, and fair because I feel like they already get that. So, they are, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're already yeah. good, bro. Yeah. They already have their unions. They have judges working like, with niggas them. Like niggas who they're go to jail. Niggas who go to jail for actually like doing something they on the some job. They did some wild They did some shit. wild. Yeah, yeah, no. So I, 
I can agree with that. So they already had like yeah. they already have some type of immunity. Right. I don't think we need to give them any more, more immunity. Oh, no, fair. they yeah. need to be they need to have some accountability. Mm -hmm. They need to have less immunity. Yeah, they need they to have They need less to be anymore. scared of what, what can happen to them go. if they do something. Cuz be right like now they're running around like they pop <laughs> but no, because I, I even at times have looked at it and I'm like, man, it's crazy because the I've always looked at it like the less and we talked about this even after the uh the Sonia Massey thing and we were like I was like the less interactions I have with the police, the better in oh, my man. mind. And and I even mean that in the sense of like I've always said this. I'm like, no, like some shit can really happen. Like Go I'm, less fast. Yeah, no, and, and no, here's my point. Some shit can really happen. And I'm like Unless somebody is bleeding or murdered, I don't think I need to call them. Mm -mm. Like my, sh if you stole my shit, my shit gone. I can go down to the now. I can go down to the uh, to the station and fill out a police and fill report. out a police report. But I don't need, I don't need you coming in my house. I don't need to, like I don't, I don't want any of this. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I feel like the same. Uh, which yeah, see, that's I, so I, crazy. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I don't want any. Of this. I don't want any of this. Like, <laughs> and that's my point. That same fear that I have should be extended to like, I'm saying like a cop. Oh, not only the fear for my life aspect, which 100 I can see being real. I'm not saying every time it's been said that it's been real, but I can see that being real. Um, but that I'm scared for my life. But it should also be, hey, I'm scared for how this will go if I step out of line. They need that. Yeah, they need that. that like, where it's the same way I'm sitting in my car going, okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't move too fast but, because... But now have you, the police cameras changed the game. I, like, we don't talk Excellent. about... We don't who 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 uh put that law in the place that the police had to have cameras? Or like, what? Like, where did that... Because that shit changed the game. Facts. Well, they they definitely are like they have to they have to navigate around it now. And now I feel like now we should get to the level if they turn they they camera off, you're you're cooked. You're there, cooked. Like yeah, yeah, if yeah. you turn if you turn your camera off, especially when you're doing a a pullover or doing anything, you're in trouble. The bill was introduced by Assembly Member Phil Ting, uh, San Francisco, and. Uh, signed by Governor Jerry Brown in 2018. According to Ting, prior to the passage of AB 748, California had no consistent policy regarding the release of body cam recordings. The Body Cam Accountability Act, AB 1, 2, And this is for California law, though. Yeah. yeah. Because um, laws are made at the state level. Um, yeah, no, I think uh, cameras, because without cameras... When I was getting pulled over and I was young, they oh, just yeah. do anything to they me. They do whatever they, whatever they want. Now with the cameras, you can, you, at least you have, they're a little bit better. Well, yeah, because they know I can't look like I'm provoking this. And, they, and the funny thing is they still do. Uh, 100%. Yeah, for sure. These niggas will plant shit in your car with their camera on. And I'm like, hey, I just found this. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we see you. <laughs> I saw your hand when it went behind. <laughs> you were holding something. It's a, yeah. I saw you open up the, the liquor that was sealed, <laughs> pour it out, and then tell the officer that I had an open bottle of the car. It's on. I didn't, I didn't have an open. Hey, shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm too <laughs> funny. Yes, I did. No. I had it. It was open. <laughs> you, you know what also sucks about that, though, too? How many just unstable and un uh, just how many fucking crazy people there are in the world? Just in the sense of like, and how easy it is to become a police officer. But well, also, well, that's that, and that's true too. But now I was saying on another side, but bro, let's look at both sides. How many crazy people there are in the world, and how easy it is to become a police officer? It's a a recipe for a disaster. And not only that, how many crazy people are in the world? So even think of how many cops run across motherfuckers every day and they're just like, think how many people aren't straight with cops every day to the point that when they come across somebody like you or me, who's just like, look, man, I'm just driving to the, it's you're lying. <laughs> you must be. That's why you have to, in my opinion, cops need to be the cream of the crop. You can't be yeah. like, you can't be 
a fucking uh, a loose cannon yeah, no. or fucking angry all the time or regret. You have to have an even kill personality because you're dealing with if they're calling the police, then something crazy happened. <laughs> <laughs> you like, like it, your whole reason for being is chaos. It's, it's literally chaos. Your whole reason for being is chaos. You have to restore order. Like that is your whole reason. We, but see, here's the issue. Now we need so many, and there's no <laughs> That's chance. That's not an excuse. No, we they, need so many. So hey, get bring John. But he just got trained. He just yeah, got, just get him no, in just here. Just get him in here. We need him, bro. Think how many come from the military. I think the ones who come from the military see, the who already have PTSD. A hundred percent. But I would rather take, because yeah, there are people from the military that have PTSD, but I feel like also military training, you might have, I think you need to have a, uh, um, a little a, bit a, more, a, you know, yeah. you. I feel like you're trained longer. Mm -hmm. You have, you're on, you're in way higher uh, anxiety situations. Yes. And you're aware and, and you literally have the right to kill people. So it's like yeah. maybe you I, maybe maybe you got a little out your system and you know, you're like, maybe you're like also you I don't want to do that again. You have to live with blacks, Mexicans, Asians. Like, because you're in the barracks. So it's like I think that makes you view people a little like cause even when you see I mean, I don't know if it's just movies, but I feel like I've also seen this in real life. You'll see like real, like people you wouldn't think would fuck with other, but hey, no, I actually, I was in blah, blah, blah with, with Charlie and Charlie was actually cool as hell and he blah, blah. So it gave them a different perspective just because I had to be here with you. Mm -hmm. Now, had I stayed over in wherever. Now I have you, I also will say, I'm sorry, were you done? No, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck, I lost it again. God damn it. What I will say is police should have to, um, they should have to be in their community. 100%, yeah. I don't think you should get a cop that's from another town. Coming in. And then put them in this town. Yeah, no. Every, if you are, uh, if you are, you know, protecting the community, you should be from that community. I personally feel, um, cause that I feel like that's, that would make sense. It makes sense. Well, it's it, like why it's odd that it's not that way when you really think about it. Because, yeah, it, it, you're right. Because I'm not going to be on smoke with the people I have to live next door to. No. But I think. Well, now that I say that. Because oh, now because right. they might be on smoke with you. Yeah. But the thing about it is maybe you could be a good cop that people like. Yeah. Like because it's like if you're securing the first of all. They're not going to, if you, then you could put things in place to keep that person safe. Right. But you know I, I have to arrest people and I have to bust people. Yeah, but and there's still a were, fear of cops. Like no one's going to fuck with. Right. But if I'm arresting people and busting people and I'm putting a lot of people in jail and they know exactly where I live, that's probably not a good thing. Why are you putting a lot of people in jail? I'm a cop. But it's not your job. Like, <laughs> that's what they do. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, I don't feel like... If I'm in a, a bad neighborhood... I, I yeah, but I feel like as a police officer, you don't always have to be... Like, people don't always have to go to jail. You can, like... You might come and you can de-escalate the situation. Somebody you going to jail. <laughs> Whoever gets the phone first, the other one's going to jail. Oh, no! That's that's somebody somebody's leaving tonight. Man, I they fire me as a cop because I, I listen. Think, to, you you should you, you sound more like a social worker. I wanted to do sociology. Yeah, as in college, and then my mom was like, "Oh, you want to be a social worker?" And I said, "No, that she, doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I want to be a psychologist. <laughs> I, want to be a psychologist. <laughs> I feel like that comes with cards." Yeah, and then she was like, oh, no, yeah, that's fine. Go help people. I love that for you. Go be a social. She was being so facetious. And I was like, there's no money in this. <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> I, it's it's funny. Uh, <laughs> there's so funny. Uh, Tim Dillon had a joke about that. It was like social workers. It was like, you know, he's like, let's, let's just be real. He was like, I'm sure we all know social workers who are wonderful people. He was like, but let's be real. What do, what do they do? They come in with a clipboard and they go, ah, 
Okay, so you're saying he hit you on the on the <laughs> side of the head, and and, uh, and are those marks new? Okay, those are from last week. Okay, well, yep, we got it. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll have somebody else come in and check in check in in a week. Good luck. Good luck. And <laughs> or either that or give us your kid. <laughs> There's no winning here. It's like you're the bad guy. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah. So yeah. I, wait, see, we need systems for all of these things. Like, we need to re- re- reinvent the wheel. The uh, You can't, not the whole wheel, but you know, our school <laughs> system, well, shit, maybe the whole wheel. Our school systems need work. Our our s- social system for, like, you know, children and, and foster homes and things like that, social services, all those kinds of things need uh-huh. work. Our... We have a lot of issues, man. Our policing needs complete restructuring. It needs complete restructuring. Our, at this point, we're getting to the point where our government needs complete restructuring. Oh, no, I've been... Yeah, yeah. We, we know that. They need to put age caps. Like, you can't drive at a certain age. You can't fucking be a politician at can't a certain age. Can't insider vote. You can't, can't insider, insider trade. trade. Yeah. But while they're doing it, you better fucking start watching Nancy Pelosi and everything that she does. Um, get on the train or get lost, bitch. Uh, <laughs> and then um, there's a bunch of shit that needs to be fixed. Oh, and they also need to stop. Uh, as we saw, our stock market crashed. They oh my al- god! They also need to stop putting fucking uh, <laughs> putting fucking holds on the trading apps when shit's not going their way. Well, that means you need to stop. Get off of Robinhood. I've been telling niggas for years. But Fidelity did it too, apparently. Did they? Or no, it was uh, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, and Robinhood. Uh, Charles Schwab. Schwab. Yeah, that's how I was like, damn, nigga. Like, oh, what? it's getting bad. Oh, bro, they just they just held. It's <laughs> so, getting bad. Oh, hold, hold on, it's y'all. Hold on. Bad. It was real quick. We just we got some. Oh, we, we let them we let them trade for free. They can wait. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, because you know it's all a it's all a scam. It, honestly. It's, wow. Char- wow. They, okay. Charles Schwab. So yeah. Oh, all. you want to see something crazy? Pam Greer titty. Oh, uh, this happened in uh, D- Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, he jumped in the car. Oh, you saw this? Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Uh, bro, what would you do if someone did this? I'm just mad there's no sound. I'm saying. Because I want to hear all this. That other camera has it. Buddy Buddy was punching him crazy. Yeah, I would have knocked him the fuck out. I don't give a fuck. He said, hey. Look at my rear uh, view. Yeah, bro. Get out of my car, bro. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, and he kept uh, talking. Yo, he's on meth or something. He said, I'm, he said, hey, chill, bro. But, oh, you know his body. Oh, was. my God. Move, nigga, move. You saw that, right? You didn't see all that, huh? I'm joined by Matthew. He stole the car? He's, oh, yeah, he just He drove let it. him steal the car? Well, bro, he backed up. Well, first of all, you, you you let him put you you let him sit down in the fucking passenger in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah I would have like, never got out of the driver's no, seat. No, I would have been choking him. I would have choked him <laughs> until he passed been out. Him. Facts. No, I I did it. I'm telling you right now, I would have been choking him until he passed the fuck out. <laughs> and then I would have dragged him in and left his fucking body on the fucking curb. I'm not saying I would have killed him, but you know, you could choke someone long enough until they pass out. Yeah. They might die, but why are you naked, naked in my choke. car? Yeah. Like a rear naked choke. Yeah, I get him in a and bro, come on. Now, go to sleep. Go to Yeah, there it is. And then take him out. Put him, on, put him on the sidewalk. Put him on the sidewalk, get in my car. Drive yeah, him. are you crazy? And then I got to shampoo my He seats. let him take his car. I just can't believe I would have punched him in the nuts so many times. I would have gave him a nut, nut gra- vice. <laughs> I would have like, <laughs> like, bro, I would have ripped them bitches off. You're not taking my car. <laughs> a naked white man is not taking my car. No, like, it's yes. not. No. You're too vulnerable, bro. <laughs> no. Like, it's not. <laughs> but I, no, he was on some good drugs. I, 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 I would kill him. Did you see Elon Musk's daughter? I understand your new angle is Western values, Christian family man, 
things, but it's such a weird choice. You are not a family man. You are a serial adulterer, it's true, who won't stop fucking lying about your own children. You are not a Christian. As far as I'm aware, you've never stopped foot in the church. You are not some bastion for equality progress. You called Arabic the language of the enemy when I was six. Have you been sued for discrimination multiple times and are from apartheid, apartheid South Africa? You are not saving the planet. You, know, you do not give a fuck about climate change and you're lying about multi-planetary civilizations as both as an, an excuse and because you want to seem like the CEO from Ready Player One. <laughs> I would mention the birth rate stuff, but I am not touching that weird 14 word breeder shit with a 10 foot pole. You single handedly delusioned me with how gullible we are as a species because somehow people keep believing I can't read past that you one. for the reason that continues to evade me. Yeah. I guess he uh I guess he stifled her reach on X, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Only 152 likes, eh? Oh yeah, he definitely <laughs> He's like, yeah, you don't need to Yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up. She shut up. Shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Shh. You see no one's retweeting it. No, you no one. They Look, can't retweet it because you can't find it's it. gone. <laughs> <laughs> In laws reading it like Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you do not exist anymore. Does it, is, did he say the, his boy the, the was the getting... mind, the mind virus? The mind virus, the mind got virus has gotten you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he said. Well, he was like, that's that's why they call it dead naming. But the thing about it is, that he person has is dead. Too much to me. Uh, but he has. He does have too much power. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't he, know why no one's has thought the, of this. He now has the power to cut off internets in countries. He shut now, off cars. He now has the power to shut off cars. Shut off a few people's brains. Shut off a few people. He, two neural a few. There's two. So he's power to shut off a few people's brains and uh, basically uh, controls the only conscious, the, the human consciousness of thought in Twitter. Right, but and then also though it's the only place where you you can type things, and it's not. I mean, currently, as far as we know, it doesn't have any government uh, people inside. He is a government. So you think he's just very gonna? He's you think he's gonna get so aligned, but still keep acting like he's not. You think that's what it is? I think they don't have. I know the government's giving him so much money that I know he can't go like too crazy. Like he's getting wild and everything like that, but all those the government is the reason Tesla, you know, can yeah. really thrive. All those subsidies, all the you're the one that told me about the selling of the he, yeah. the selling of the you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like how far can he go? To Mars. <laughs> his daughter's saying that's some bullshit. His yeah. daughter's like his daughter's like, that's cockamamie. Yeah, his daughter. Um, do you see this? Taxi ride in Japan. No, that's that's unpacked. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fact what she <laughs> said her, her dad's crazy. <laughs> crazy comes from crazy comes from crazy. It's all right. <laughs> Look at this. This show is great. <laughs> <laughs> this, this nigga said. Hold on. Oh, that looks like a good movie. No, look, taxi ride, man. This nigga checked his stocks. He said, oh, oh my god! Oh. How did he catch that? That's hilarious, <laughs> bro. He checked that shit. Everything. Said, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! I have to drive for the next thirty years. Oh yeah, this is Nancy talking about. Uh, yo, she she didn't even know what to say. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Check this out. They asked her about Biden and the shit. Whether it's well, it's the first bill, the first bill uh, that protect uh, uh, our uh, I'd uh, fuck. assault uh, <laughs> bill, COVID shots in the yeah. arm, money in the pockets, children in school, people at work, the infrastructure bill, building building in a way that is respectful of communities, pe chips and science. <laughs> Yo, she's doing so President much Biden okay. since he no, dropped out. No, I have not. Do you hope to? Yes, when. I hope to. Yeah, we're all busy. Is, that, is everything busy. okay with your relationship? You'd have to ask him, but I hope okay. so. They but he kicked knows, uh, this look, nigga. I have out. loved Joe Biden, respected him for over forty years. Mm -hmm. We had, I was uh, 
party chair in California. Then I became. She's not of fucking with that. She's losing Money words Penelope like me. Housewife. Yeah, she full of shit though. She, you could tell, like she, she got some shit. Did you also see that she called Joe Biden a Mount Rushmore type of president? No, uh, but uh, I, I don't care for that. I want to see a picture of Nancy that. Pelosi you when she was this. younger. Ah, that might be yeah. Hold on, you have to see this though. This is actually pretty funny because the lady actually asked her. I don't want. I don't want the music. Give me the. Give me the regular one. You found. You had it. Decision. The top of his game. Su Who? Such. Such. In a, a good place, to make whatever decision. The top of his game. Such a consequential president of the United States. A Mount Rushmore kind of president of the United States. Are want you to really know what comes next? That he belongs up there, on Mount Rushmore. Right. Lincoln and Joe Biden. <laughs> But you got Teddy Roosevelt up there, and he's wonderful. I don't say take him down, but you can add Biden. <laughs> yeah, that, a, shit's, that's just funny. Like what? Like what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not saying you take him down. I'm just saying you got, you got Roosevelt. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt got shot and finished his speech. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> okay, let's see, young Nancy Pelosi. Please, young. Young Pelosi. Uh, oh, she was with Kennedy. What do you mean she was with Kennedy? Is this Nancy Pelosi went from family housewife to power? Is that her with Kennedy? What's happening? So that's Nancy Pelosi. What's it, happening? Huh. What does that mean? I'm, I'm very dive, uh, dive, <laughs> you know, dive, dive, why, dive. Why is she so close to Kennedy? It, it, why it, has she it, been around since forever? It started with me being a deviant, and now we're about to find some more out. Like, go How dive. How Nancy Pelosi went from? Oh no! Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you need a dollar. I need a dollar for this information. Uh, let's see, Nancy Pelosi, Kennedy. Uh, speaker, 50 years ago today, I was a young Trinity College student. I don't want to see her Facebook post. Oh, she just was at the enunciate. Uh, the she uh, was also at his inauguration. Speaker Nancy. Okay, so that was the thing. Damn. Oh, there we go. Uh, 82 year old woman. <laughs> Lawmakers. The 82 year old will not retire and will continue to represent her San Francisco district of the house. Get the fuck. 82. So she's older than Trump. I feel like 75. 75 is a great time to stop. I feel like stop. Yeah. Like, bro, stop. Like, even put in your replacement. Like, do some stop. That's crazy. Pelosi posted a photo on Facebook. She recalled her young Trinity College uh, in the speech. Many of us were privileged to be there to see our new inspiring president. But in places far away, people across the nation and the world watched for them as well. It was a moment to define our time. Damn. It's crazy when you see certain people, you'd be like, man, you've been in the mix forever. Like, of course she's insider training. But, nigga, I was there when <laughs> Kennedy was inaugurated. Another picture. Let me see. Yes, I mean, she wouldn't. No, I, 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 I mean, would, but the. It's, mm. uh, uh, it's just. <laughs> fucking. I don't know. I thought man. maybe she was like really bad. Maybe like Barbara like Walters bad. bad. Like yeah, yeah, like no. Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, she's not a. Uh, what was the runner's name? <laughs> she's not that no, bad. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no, no. Uh, when are we gonna start getting people in our government who have like tattoos of guns on their arms? I think it's very soon. Well, I mean, we're it's starting slowly but surely. I think didn't we get our first trans uh, uh, representative in one of the, it's uh, the uh, states or something like that? It's the admiral, the admiral, uh huh, of uh, it's the uh, Ra Rachel Levine. Levine is uh, 
few openly trans transgender government officials in the United States and is first to hold the hold an office that requires Senate confirmation. Mm. Uh, okay. There's not I thought there was another uh, like a transgender mayor or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. What is the secretary? Oh yeah, the assistant secretary for health. Yeah, I mean it's all coming. Yet it, yet it. Uh, who's gonna who's gonna be the first person in government with a face tattoo? Yeah, like imagine. a Republican or a Democrat? Oh well, definitely a Democrat. Unless it unless it switches. Again, it's, 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you ever blacks used to be Republicans, whites were Democrats, Democrats KKK. Yeah, and, and, and then look at switch. Us. Now look at us. Now look at us. I mean, I know they did that, but listen. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Nothing. Why are you looking at me like? That? I was just you. Did you, you, you what? I was just looking up at me. Like, no, because you said, I know they did that, but listen. Uh, I, I was like... Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm just, I, look, I'll be looking that way, too. I'll be waiting like, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> oh, oh, let's go over um, Kamala's VP. We didn't really go oh, over. Yeah. And Walls. We just, we tried, Walls. Yeah. To the window. Oh, did you see somebody put, from the weirdos to the walls? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, wow. uh, I like them. He's he's definitely better than uh, J D Vance. I'll I think he's Let's oh it. killing J D Vance. Yeah, yeah, big time. Timothy James Walls, forty first governor of Minnesota since two thousand nineteen, Democratic Party's nominee for vice president. Walls was born in West Point, Nebraska. After high school, he joined the Army National Guard and worked in manufacturing. He later graduated the Chadron State College in Nebraska before moving to Minnesota. He, it's crazy. He's very liberal for a guy who apparently grew up around no niggas. You went from Nebraska to... <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Um, before running for Congress, he was high school, uh, a high school social studies teacher and a football coach. He was elected the U.S. House of Representatives for Minnesota's first congressional district in 2006, defeating six-term Republican incumbent Gil. All right, this this doesn't matter. Get find the the good shit. Man. What I mean, what you want to find know some about videos. Him? Find find him talking. That's why people love him. They love him for his personality, not because of his fucking wiki. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. No one cares about you know the, the issues. They just want to see niggas say funny things about one another. D- nigga, please. Uh, I know, right? no, I know, I know. This is true. <laughs> Let's see. How many of those? I'm trying to find. Pretty neighborly with Wisconsin. We get our friendly battles, but in Minnesota, just like in Wisconsin, we respect our neighbors and the personal choices they make. I love this. Oh, civility. <laughs> he looks he looks like a guy who even works if, down at the bank. We went <laughs> and he's just, just really nice. He's not... Because we know there's a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. So civil. Mind your own damn business. He <laughs> didn't just throw a damn in there just for I yeah, I like it. So civil. I like it. I get it. I, this was a great pick. It's a perfect pick. It's the best. best I don't pick. think she could have did better. No, she couldn't. It, you know, it's just crazy though. The only thing on both on both sides is hilarious to see this shit. How motherfuckers like, man, you will be outside pumping a fucking sign for a nigga you didn't know about last last week. Two, <laughs> 40 hours ago. <laughs> nigga. That, like, that, I, and I'm, like I'm saying, on either side, even the niggas who are up there, like, JD Van. Yo, you're wild. You I had know, no you had clue no clue who, who, that who was. this nigga was. Like, and don't get me wrong. And but, you're screaming for him. For the people who do, respect. Hey, good for you. You should. Now, but, the other 90%. Percent, thank you. Thank you. Huh? Like, th- that's just the thing that'd be making me, like, I just be like, yo, that's like, like, it. It's a it's a sick minded even just structure when you look at it. There's barely enough time to for them to print those posters Thank out you. with his name. Thank on. you. Barely for you to be going. Wah! That <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like yo, you've probably never even been to Minnesota. Like you know, I have no clue what this not man you, has done. You. Now now have you? From what I've He's been seeing, shit, though. I've seen no bad things. I'm sure those are coming. Yeah. Because they're gonna they, they start got, yeah. they're gonna start beating his ass. But I've seen nothing but positivity. Yeah. No, it's been I gotta say. No, it's been it's been pretty good. I, I like him. No, I do He I, makes he makes it comf- he makes me be like, okay. Whew. <laughs> he said, whew. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, um, there was I had a couple notes of, like, yeah, like I said, most of the things that he stands for, I'm like, hey, bro, like it, it's a, it's a, is it a reasonable candidate? You know, I, I, like I said before, I would almost switch him for Kamala. She runs the VP. He runs the president. <laughs> um, and this is off of speaking alone. I just think he's a better. He's a great speaker. He's a better orator. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. There was something I saw with Walls, and I was like, oh, that's actually pretty pretty cool. Um, damn. Maybe I didn't write it down. But, uh, yeah. Oh, he made. I was like, he's also already done things that wins the, like, people who don't give a shit about anything except for, like, pop culture. You know that he made. The day of Beyonce's concert, he made Beyonce Day in Minnesota. <laughs> no, but no, this is what I'm getting at though. He's, he's already done this. He's already though. been doing like, yeah, this. that's what I'm saying. So it's like, if you, yeah, so I love like, him. no, it's it's great. Like, and apparently he like the tweet. What damn? Let me see. Like, no, he literally put. He was like, he was like, uh, even though I'm, even though I'm governor or something. He's like, we we know who really runs the world, and it's Beyonce. Today is Beyonce Day in Minnesota. Like, uh, welcome to He's a to fun Minnesota. governor. He's a fun guy. Go- yeah, it was like, damn. So like, this isn't some shit you're doing now to try to. No. You're, you're, and what do I always say? Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not. What a- do I always say? <laughs> Can't be mad at the man. I'm like, oh, you do shit like this. This is what you do. He, oh, That's no. not pandering. That this a- is what you do. He also signed a bill. Uh, um, let me look that up. But he signed a bill also so uh, all kids, I think, in Minnesota could get yep. lunches. Yep. Yeah, no matter what. Yep. Uh, oh, he, yeah, and you you helped the babies? The, <laughs> before you knew you <laughs> were going to be the running mate? Before you had it. Then you found out you was going to be the running mate four days ago. Yeah. Listen. I, they, yeah, no, she they killed it. This is the best thing yeah. I've seen them do. By far. They, By they far. Kill, they, and they're going to win now for, from that. Yeah, I really do believe that now. Uh, America just needed a civil white man to calm shit down just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Now that they got a civil white man, I maybe we won't have another insurrection when Trump loses. No, it's coming. No, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. I mean, I I think that like I said, I think, I think the issue now is gonna be the issue now is gonna be. See, the reason now I think there's going to be unrest if Trump loses is because, like I said before, it, at least if he won, like say if it was against Biden uh-huh. if he and he would have won, like even if they tried to cheat or anything, it, I don't even think they would have done that even if he would have won by a lot because we just would have been like, well, look, this is just what it is uh-huh. and shit, we got to move on. But now, because it's like, oh no, like I'm pretty sure they're going to, they can win. They can definitely win. And they're probably going to win. And more people have a vested interest in them winning. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. You made a very good point the other day, though, when you were just like, we got to do this again in four years. <laughs> like, yo, if Trump don't win, it's going to be like, damn. We got to do the same thing. We got to do the same <laughs> that, shit. That's where I'm getting tired. Like, because it's like, if that man loses, he's just going to do it again in four it years. Again. Gonna do so it. I feel like we're being held hostage because it's like, it's going to be, it's been <laughs> for the past three cycles, it's been Trump versus Hillary. Then Trump, Trump versus, versus Biden. Biden. Nah, Trump, Trump versus, versus Kamala. Kamala. No, Trump versus Biden, Trump, then Trump versus Kamala. Kamala. Then it's going to be. Then it's gonna oh, be, right, right, because it switched and, in the middle of the yeah, it's in the middle. <laughs> right. Like, what is this? <laughs> so now next one is going to be, because Kamala's probably going to win now. So it's like next one's going to be Trump versus Kamala in four years. And until he dies, oh, <laughs> because yeah. they don't have age restrictions. He's going to keep fucking doing this. So the best thing Kamala Harris can do is put age restrictions on who can fucking run. And if you're over the age of 80, then you can't. And there's a good example that your fucking running mate 
died or we don't know where fucking Biden is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe it, it would be good for Kamala to put some ages in. She, yeah. she can't. She's she won't. She, she won't. can't. She won't. She doesn't. She doesn't. The only thing about. Literally, we're only in this situation she, because there are no has, term limit. There's, that and Kamala is just a candidate who just. She, when we talk consistency, she's consistent. She consistently doesn't care. And I think that, and I think, and when I say doesn't care, I mean in a sense of like, hey, I'm not going to come in here and go shake things up and go change things and go against the cabinet. I'm going to come in here and do. I'm going to do what I'm told to do and I'm going to do it with a smile. And that's going to be the end of that. Cool. And I'm going to be the first woman president. And I'm going to be the first woman president. That is, that is what I'm supposed to do. And then when people ask me, why didn't you do X, Y, and Z? I'm going to tell them the same thing Obama said. What was I supposed to do? They had my hands tied. I was the first one in there. You know you can't get nothing passed through. This is what you're going to say. And I get it. I get it. Cool. That's what it's going to be. And, and Walls is going to be over there like, well, I think we should shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, literally. Shut he, the fuck go, up. <laughs> go, go be on camera. Literally. They like you out there. Like we don't you. like you in here. Shut the fuck up, I Walls. Feel like, I feel like, He's going to be like, I just wanted to know if you wanted some candy. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that, nigga, that nigga, is, they said he was a school teacher. He looks like what? So nice. That nigga's going to be in there and he's going to be, I feel like he's going to be in there trying to say so. Well, I mean, we can't do that. To well, the I don't think people. that we can't bomb these people. <laughs> and, and everybody in the room is just going to look at him and go. <laughs> Close the door. No, yeah, we can't bomb these. Why would yeah, you? Yeah, we're we're taking a break from the uh the walls situation right now. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna have him play uh we're gonna have him play the position you were playing two years ago. Kamala, you remember that when no one heard from you? We're gonna have him do that. Well, it's gonna be great. Okay, I did it. Listen, <laughs> it's about listen, growth. It's about growth. <laughs> it's about it's about growth. <laughs> It's about what can be unburdened <laughs> by what has been. Because you know me. You know me. I, was I walk it like like my friend like Quavo. Quavo. I, I walk, walk it, it like, like I, I talk it. it. <laughs> you, you know what, though? I won't lie to you. <laughs> she win. Nigga, there, there will never be a better example of what can be. Unburdened by what has been. She really. She fucking, really is not burdened she, by anything that has been. And this shit is. And moving. the funny thing is, we was making jokes like, "Where the fuck is Kamala Harris?" Like through oh, yeah. the whole presidency, right. she was like, "Oh, I know, I'm staying." <laughs> she just she stayed low. She stayed low. And, and, stayed low. And she and she was just like, waited. She was he like, about to die. She was like, "You know, it'd be." Cr-. She was laying in bed with her husband. She was like, "You know, it would be crazy." He said. What? Wouldn't it be crazy if just if just Joe couldn't keep going? What would you What would you think? What would you that? think about? Because <laughs> she already saw yeah. Joe had three seizures <laughs> in front of her eyes that no Facts. one else saw. Facts. She's she's seen it. Like every no one no one else has seen it. Yeah, I, I, can you imagine? Like Kamala just start like. Inst- you know how Just we were making fun camera. of her code. Uh, no, we were making how people make fun of her for like code switching when she gets in certain rooms. But imagine, let's just imagine for the sake of comedy. She, when she's off of camera, all of this is no. She's just a a shrewd black woman. And can you imagine her seeing something happen to Biden and calling her husband and be like, "Yeah, th- this nigga done had another stroke." Again. <laughs> I don't know, and it's, it just shows me they don't want to hire the black woman. They don't want this man can't keep his fucking eyes open. No, you no. know what though? I want to try her collard greens. That'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. The whole black community would be disappointed. No, 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 no. You no, know no. what? I'm not. I'm I not, want the I whole want black. The, I want the fucking collard greens. I want bro. the whole black community to taste her collard. Greens. I want her collard greens. I want her I to feel make like a macaroni that, on Thanksgiving. I feel like that. Should be the determining because she really speaks highly of these collard greens. She says, "You know, I make a mean collard green. Oh, she you does? know, oh look, uh, Kamala Harris collard greens. <laughs> Kamala <laughs> Harris collard greens. <laughs> She's like, I, li- I like the, uh, I like the, uh, what's the nigga's name? Coming from, like, coming from where I'm from, I like the Anthony Hamilton album too. Yeah. <laughs> I got hot sauce. I carry hot sauce Yo, in my bag. You know that she only does that around election time." 
think she does that e- at all. Oh, like, no, I, so uh, her uh, black intern handed, handed her, her the that, hot yes. sauce and then she goes, before they went into Hot 97, <laughs> and she fucking pulled it out. And then she said, okay, don't hand me that again. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Who raised me and my sister. I don't care. Nope. Did your parents still were rights activists? Yeah, they were. They were active. They were. They were. I mean, they were. My mother was actually a, 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 a breast cancer researcher. But they met when they were active in the civil rights movement. Yeah, they. Maya and I, my sister, we joke. We grew up surrounded by a bunch of adults who spent full time marching and shouting. Yeah, and see, that's what that's what bugs me out about the criticism oh, you receive because it's like your parents. <laughs> your Indian mother was. A yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were they were civil actors. They were, you know, they were. No, I mean, no, they were civil servants, and they were active <laughs> with their vision and their vision for what we have. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but I would like to see some type of footage, pictures, or anything. You mean proof? Of, <laughs> I I just just uh, I need. Listen, bro. You, Just get, make it I, a you fist. got my vote. It's already you. You already did the move. You did the move. Yeah, you, <laughs> made, you made the right you made, move. You made the move. I'm happy, but now I can really talk my shit because <laughs> it's like I said. She's got it. She's got my vote. I think she did the right thing. So, what do you mean your Indian ass mother was a fucking civil activist? Now, have you? Maybe her Indian ass mother was a um a activist. You know and, what I'm saying? And, we all need allies, 100%. And at what point, at what point does, what makes you an activist? I think that's another thing that we have to, because it's like, we've all seen the boondocks. Like, are you like Pops? Are you the nigga who showed up after the water hoses went off? And you're like, oh, I went back to get my raincoat. Or were you getting, were you oh, getting you hose hose down? down? Like, or was you just the nigga who was like, oh, I, you know, or I were you a just marches. A, were you just an ally? Yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with being an ally. how many people. 50 years from now are going to look at their kids or their grandkids and go, you know, I was an activist. I was big. I was out there during the, the pandemic. They went out one time during the pandemic and didn't even, they tweeted, I had, they tweeted I had five signs. things. I had signs that said Black Lives they Matter. They had an Instagram page dedicated to the updates that were happening. Come on now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, like, well, you know, when does the line start where it's like, oh, no, no. Is it, like, I feel like activism is like the gym. Like, nigga, you got to be there consistently. Yeah, you yeah. really got to. Yeah, yeah. No, like, nigga, I need to know, like, oh, no, that, that nigga's hitting at least three three to four rallies a month. No question. He's doing so. <laughs> Same if you're a racist. Yeah. I need to know you're hitting three, to know, four like, rallies a, a month. <laughs> no, nah, you don't have to do that much to be a racist to me. <laughs> to me, you only got to use a couple words. And I'm like, <laughs> racist. <laughs> what, is, what ends in ER? <laughs> I don't think you got to work hard to be a racist. I think you got to work hard to be an activist. I think, like, I think to be an activist, you really got to put your foot in some shit. To be a racist, you just got to say, nigger! And then I'm like, well, well, other than, <laughs> other than the Burger King guy. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that guy is ridiculous. You know who I'm talking about, right? He's my <laughs> favorite meme. Whenever one of my black friends does something so niggerish. And then you just have the picture of him just like, yeah! <laughs> with the Burger King crown on. <laughs> no, I don't have a picture of him. I send my friends the video of him. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Yeah. I send. And then he that's... looks around like. That's one of my favorite things to send. Like whenever my friends are doing so, like if I, if like, let's say my friend will send me a picture of them with a plate of watermelon and fried chicken, <laughs> I'm immediately sending that video. <laughs> like, There's only one video to send. And I... If I eat a piece of fried chicken and watermelon, I watch the video just to remind myself. I should get off this plane. <laughs> I should get off this plane. Hold on, let's finish this. And then we'll civil rights it. activist. You were born in Oakland. Oakland's a black ass town. Oh yeah. You went to Howard University. So why do people say things like she's pandering to black people? They don't know me. And I and I, you know, listen, I think that also you know, some folks have a limited vision of who we are as black people. Mm-hmm. 
And that's on them. That's not on us. What do you say to the people that's questioning fair. the legitimacy of answer. your blackness? I think they don't understand who black people are. Mm. Nah, because if you that. do, if you walked on Hampton's campus or Howard's campus or Morehouse, or, Morehouse. Morehouse yeah. or Spelman or Fisk, you, have you would have a Morehouse. much better but your parents you can't, you can't talk about better appreciation for the Morehouse, diaspora, yeah. for the diversity, mm-hmm. for the beauty in the diversity of who we are as black okay, people. No, why? She's, this, wait, wait, you're, you're, you're wrong. What am I doing? You're wrong. I, I've she's heard telling us why she's black. The, I, listen, <laughs> this sounds like this sounds like a very well worded and crafted. It has to be crafted. That can't be from the heart. No, that's not from the heart. That could be from the heart. It could be. That could be from. I listen. I have a problem with being so gonna, that I'm highly of a cynic, where there's not one good thing you can't say about a person. No, but I'm not saying anything. But I'm just. I, she, I don't a, like her because a, she is a, a cop. She yes, and she's a career politician. So my whole thing is that means that you're one of the best actors in the world, and we see that you're. But I, like, I don't think that doesn't mean that she can't be genuine at times. I think she can at times. I, I think she sounds genuine. It doesn't seem like... Now, have you? She knew she was going to Lenard's The show. Breakfast Club. You know, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew where she was going, yeah. where she definitely, you know... She had this ready. I'm yeah, not, of course. But, but this I'm is saying a better I don't think interv- you should... Positivity. Think- this is a better interview than I generally yeah. see her do. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving her that. Okay, That's cool. Not, all, all, right. Right. I, I, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I was just... All right. All right. You yeah, know. You yeah. know our banter. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm proud of being black Absolutely. and I was born black I will die black and I'm proud of being black and I'm not gonna make any excuses for anybody because okay. they don't understand but and then also a big problem that I have is white pe- the white people are the ones saying that she's not black well yeah I no 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 they no, want to no, go no, no, for no. their candidate I, I how fucking dare they be the ones that are the loudest in in saying what blackness is okay I, this is all I will say though, because no black, there are very few black people who would even dare speak out and say that they don't believe Kamala's black. And so I think that's one of those things. Of course, they're going to be louder because more of them are willing to speak out about that. Because white people, yeah, because they're not, they're, they don't, they're not scared. They have no right to fucking what, speak what on I'm it because they don't know what it is. It's not their community, so it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. It's the same as like if you're a Democrat in a completely red Trump family, or I won't even say Trump, just really red conservative family. It's the same idea. It's like, okay, maybe I don't bring up my thoughts about things because. Yeah, I just don't think they should have thoughts on that. Like, I, I, I don't think that that's not even a, a fighting point for them to I, have because I, I they don't know you. anything about black culture I'll give to you that. be able to I'll say yeah. she's not black. Yeah, but, like, but you know what? But they're allowed to have an opinion. So, of course, that's what it is. And that's that. That's, that's no, all no, it's not for me. No, no, I that, know. That's that for you. But, that, but I'm saying everyone's allowed to have an opinion. So it's the same as us being able to have an opinion on a white man. They can have an opinion on a black person. Yeah, and that's but fair. not when culture is involved. Like it's like, yeah, you can have your opinion. I don't have to listen not to your to opinion. Me. I don't. You. I don't have to listen to your opinion, and I don't have to believe your. opinion I don't have to respect. I don't your have opinion, to respect your opinion. Nor do I have to allow you to be able to get your opinion out to me. Uh, well, then that's not somebody you want to talk to. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, my thing is, I'm like, fair. If you want to make some points, that's fair. Yeah. I can listen. I can, just the same way I deal with this. I can listen and then I tune out when I go, okay, I think I know what this, where this is going. Yeah. But, I, you know, overall, though, I feel like it's one of those, I, like I said, I think there's not a ton of, there's not a ton of things that you can uh, really say straight up against this woman that you can't turn over and put against Trump, right? Because that's what I'm getting at. It's like they're both not the best option. So I think he's he's got some he's got a couple more things on his docket. Oh, a lot more. He's got, that's he's what I'm got saying. Some. There's way more things though that yeah. you can put on him. So even if you're a person who's like I'm MAGA, yeah, there's only so many things you can really say against her because there, you know how much shit is on your side. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the few things I can point out, I'm saying if I am a white person who is all about MAGA, is that also cuts off the, I don't like black people. And I don't want, because there's some who are just, it's that simple. I don't like black people. I don't want a woman in there. And I don't want nobody brown in there. So if it's that it's simple. It's a lot of, of oh, it's a lot, lot of, of people that don't want a woman in there. Yep. It's a, like, uh, it's like a, 
aggressive amount of but people I'll that say don't this, want to Apparently not that many. Because if, if, I'm saying, when you because see how the tide's changing with this, though? It's because the option. The option is so bad. Yeah, like, yeah. it's because the option is so bad that it's like, damn, do we pick the guy? Like, we saw how he moved for four years. We saw how he lied to our face. He entertained us for four years, for yeah. sure. But, like... We saw how, like, loosey-goosey he treated shit and, yeah. like, how he would beef with... We saw that. So it's like, do I want this man, when we're on the brink of World War Three, yeah. to be the guy? But but then I just think at the end of the day, we're just going to... We also, as people, we just like, well, we're never going to feel like things went all that great. I don't think with any president, once we, if we look at it every year, we're like, oh, we well, kind of fuck that up. So since was every four years. So since I feel like that's the case, I honestly think on top of all of that, too, you got to add the, the factor that we just want somebody new to lie to us. What did Obama do, though? That was bad. Because the bombing oh, nigga oh, shit doesn't yeah, really bother me. Yeah, that yeah, but that uh, Obama was he was the first to really institute those drone strikes and shit. And that see, shit and that's crazy. what I'm saying. I, that I think it's because I'm so far removed. Well, yeah. Now have you, of course, if and when they start doing that their shit over here, now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yes, I have to speak from that standpoint. And it was a lot of, and it was they said because he was one of the first to do drone strikes, it was like a lot of innocent. So it's basically what's happening over in Palestine, like type deal. So you know, it, innocent people were getting hit a lot. Like which fair because I mean I get it. This is what you're doing. You're literally you're building drones to kill people. So fair, that's happening. And I'm coming in after Bush. We in war. What? I like I'm, exactly. I'm trying to stop it. I inherited this. So mm -hmm. how can I? They said they would triangulate motherfucking cell phones. You just be in the you, and you be look. You, you be in the square having a coffee. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, that whole square is a circle now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially, I can see Obama with that kind of swagger. Oh, yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, they, Mr. Well, we Obama, it. we have him. Now, the only thing is... Make it happen. Let me finish, sir. Now, the only thing is... You said triangulate. I want you to make sure that whole triangle's gone. But, sir, there's a school right next <laughs> I'm door. I'm going to go hoop. <laughs> LeBron? <laughs> LeBron? LeBron, come on in. <laughs> no, that, I'm that, that triangle better be gone when I get back. <laughs> yeah, imagine, imagine this nigga hooping and then LeBron like, "Hey, it's on you." And he's like, "One second. <laughs> well, that's gone." And then he get right back to it. <laughs> There's something about his personality and demeanor that lets me know that like. It wasn't that hard. Like, oh uh, yeah, no, no. bro from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, but see, one what the reason once again, I, and I always say this: the reason Obama came across different was because regardless of how you felt about his politics, the guy was presidential. Oh my! No, God. And that's and that's what I'm saying. Like literally, there has been no regardless of politics. There, you can't sit here and tell me there's been a better archetype. For America, that's my fucking as a leader. No, that's literally like, that's, <laughs> that's that, like everybody was like, you know what? Like that's why I even feel like when you go back and you look at even his cons list, it's like, because it was like, man, you did everything else pretty much right. It seemed like, and if you did nothing right, it looked like you did, and you sounded like you did. You sound good, bro. You sound good. You sound good, bro. All right, like you know, um, because even. You know, Bush sounded Bush a little sounded dumb. Bush sounded dumb. Yeah, he Not did. a little dumb. Bush sounded, Bush sounded dumb. Really dumb. <laughs> Bush, <laughs> Bush is a nigga I want to have a beer with well, at a bar and get drunk movies. with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Literally. laughs> Bush is funny. OBGYNs can practice their their love with other women. No, my, my, <laughs> my, my, he has two, two favorites. Two favorites. Fool me once. <laughs> That's the best one. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on, shame on me, shame on. Fool me, fool me twice. You can't fool me again. again. <laughs> you can't fool me again. <laughs> and that's how he said. He said, "Fool me twice." But well, you can't fool me you again. Fool me you already fooled me. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then his golf thing when he was talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bro. Now watch me hit this. <laughs> now watch me hit this drive. A peaceful place. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, 
Shame on you. <laughs> that kid, like, huh? You fool me, we can't get fooled again. <laughs> you, you fool me, you can't get fooled again. <laughs> you gotta understand the nature of the regime we're dealing with. Yo, but tell me this nigga's not smooth, <laughs> though. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. <laughs> and start to say it. Shit. But he's cool. <laughs> and, and young enough to go. I done talk to myself. <laughs> what do I do? What can't do I fool do? me. Can't <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and Trump would have been like, I've been fooled. I've actually never been fooled. I've never. They, you can't I'm, fool you me. You can't fool me. Fool I'm me. unfoolable. They say, they say fool me once. I go, ah, I haven't been fooled. <laughs> <laughs> if I haven't been fooled, how could you say you fooled me once? That's Trump. You know, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> and then he deflects. He deflects. <laughs> and then he puts it on. <laughs> you know, a lot of people said that there's a lot of fools. There's more fools than there's ever been. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one of them. I'm not uh, one of them. But so, Kamala. Kamala. Great. No, he's president. I think, I think um, Bill Clinton had was presidential until ski ski ski. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, and then you know, and until that list came out, uh, which 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 list? There's several. He's yeah, on the, the, the Pizza Gate list, the yeah, flight list, the flight He's list. Talking about the murder list. Which list are we talking about? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> both. Both. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. <laughs> but radio said he wants both. 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 Oh, both. uh, because I it, I can smell it. You're trying to wrap up. Yeah. I see you in your demeanor. <laughs> <I> see. <laughs> We're hour forty one in. <laughs> I see your de your demeanor is very. Uh, I could. I read you. Uh, no. <laughs> you can read me better than Kamala, apparently. Oh, well. Uh, banning masks in Nassau, New York. Ah, yes. Did you see them pulling the people out of the out of the town hall meeting? Oh, I saw that. I did. I saw a little bit. Of, you just, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, man, that's... I mean, I think it's a bit uh ridiculous that you're like banning but i also get like i always thought these those push shiesty masks were fucking ridiculous They're like, ridiculous when i see niggas like walking it i always think as a black man hey black man why the fuck do you have this mask on in a mall where they're assuming you're gonna steal things anyway well okay so i should it be that way no, 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 but... no, no, no first of all i understand the mask during quarantine everything like that yeah them niggas wearing masks terrify me. I will not go into the store if they're in there. No, I know. I'm not dumb. And it's like, I'm not afraid of my people, but I'm afraid of them. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, if, like I, if I see some Nike if tech, I see anyone some Nike in a Nike, fish a Nike tech, <laughs> a, a, if you have a Nike tech and then a fucking, a and a mask, Nigga, no. That is a no no for me. Like I'm, I first of all, you have to understand me. I, I need you guys to understand me. I don't like the youth. I don't give a fuck. Black, white, Indian, Asian. They're not. I the don't best. like the youth. If you're 25 and young, younger, I cross the street. I don't do this. Like I don't. I don't. I. I'm a suburban dude. I don't deal said, with. They're like you. police. I don't want none of that. I don't want <laughs> shit to do with what y'all got going so if you have a poo shiesty mask on i will not i will i will be six feet away boiled over tonight at the nassau legislature dragging this bitch one out person was take your mask off and Kansas see the white people are like about the county's no i'm immune i'll compromise the measure makes it illegal to wear lives of many people bridget jones it's a, is immune it's illegal to wear wow 3M. that's crazy that is fucked up because i was making a joke Cause I was making a joke about the people who are just like still COVID crazy, and yeah. they're like, "No, I can't." And then I said, "I'm immunocompromised." And then literally, yeah, immuno cuts to, they cuss to this lady who's like, "They're like Casey, she's immunocompromised." First like, oh, of shit. all, that's fucked up. Now, that's you. fucked up. No, wearing N95s, wearing three M masks, you should never ever fucking ban that shit. Like yeah. those are you made us do it. You made us do it. And then also in other countries, they've been doing, been doing it. that. This ain't pollution. nothing new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't believe that. Uh, first of all, I don't live anywhere near Nassau, New York. Like, I don't have shit. I'm, you can't. No, my mom wears masks all the time. My mom Every, too, Like, yeah. period. If yeah. she's outside, she's wearing a mask. Yeah. I also uh, think that's another thing we should. I, I'm not going to lie. Age restriction on a mask would be. Well, I, I could see. I mean, I think that's a bit much. I don't think the government. Age restriction on a mask. If you're not immunocompromised. Because here's the problem. 
there is crime is going up. They're not wearing N95 masks. They're, and they're not. not wearing 3M masks. They're not. Now, now the poo shiesty mask. 100%. Fuck that. But how many people realistically really think about this? How many people do you think have done crimes wearing mask like any kind of mask? Like not only the nigga, I was thinking about doing crimes with masks when they made during the pandemic. When they made, I'm joking, but like during the pandemic, I was like, I I was happy that the mask mandate became a thing because I was like, damn, I could just go places and no one would ever ever know, know. and I could just be bummy and just I could be bummy, put my hoodie on that they'll never know it's me. Turns out, I have a very a uh, uh, strange body structure and so, loud and loud so you, there's no hiding me even with a mask and fuck you <laughs> P- punk ass there's no I, even with a mask and a hoodie <laughs> then you hear you, you, <laughs> you, Micah <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> I, 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 I saw the Compton Country Club hat and the every nigga deserves hoodie. No, 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 I have to change my whole swag. It's all new things. All I do is promote my friends. All I ever do. All I do. If my friends give me clothes, I am going to wear the fuck of out course. of my friend's clothes. Yeah. If my boy gives me hats, I'm going to wear your hat. Why would I wear fucking Gucci? Or why would I they wear fucking... They don't do fucking... shit for me. No, I have a show where I do weekly with my friend. Why wouldn't I try to put my friend's brands Facts. on that so that you can see... I'm Yeah, you're always going to catch me in Every Nigga Deserves or fucking yeah. one of these hats. Like, I'm always promoting them. Yeah, as you should. Cause... Like, I'm fucking Prada. Like does nothing for me no not like legit i always say that i'm like man whenever the day comes when you see me a designer it's like oh no i work with these people yeah exactly like legitimate like th- there's money that comes from this this is why i wear this This is why but, i wear it or they send it for free yeah other than that nah ain't no, no. Ain't, got time. ain't nobody Mm-mm. got time for and that. it's fucked up because i actually buy my friends brands and i bought even, this fucking hat that's even better like i like the new fonts he's doing too yeah, yeah. well chris has always been he has the triple c's now they kind of look i like that too he's, he's yeah yeah chris triple chris c's. has always been very fashionable chris has always like been very good with like clothes like we I, gotta bring him on and we do like a yeah whenever yeah. It, that's that's a yeah I know. It just, it'll be fun now <laughs> All right, let's finish this article and let's wrap this up. Came um, from bet. Harlem to speak against the measure. Criminalizing a tool that literally is PPE. It's a mobility aid. It saves lives. The county legislature passed the bill along party lines. All 12 Republicans. <laughs> I was just, yo, you know what's hilarious? I was literally about to say, man, Nassau must be Republican as fuck. And then all they go, all 12, 12 Republicans. Republicans. Yeah, they're like, we're tired of this mass shit. Take yeah. them off. All seven Democrats abstain. You guys look stupid. Supporters say it prevents people from committing crimes or acts of violence while hiding behind a mask. This bill addresses the urgent need to mitigate potential threats to the community safety and to ensure accountability. Yeah, I mean, and you see up. what she was over there like, nah, in my neighborhood, them little fucking badass boys are wearing those shiesty masks and then just robbing people. And you can't tell who the who, fuck who, they who, are. No chance. I I I get it, but also they're going to use this to target. Like they're going to use that. No, I get why they did it. Mm-hmm. They're going to use this law for nefarious means. Yes, I am, and as I will always argue. Yeah, but like, how much ammunition are we gonna give them? Like, I can't feel sorry for you. I don't care if you're a 14 year old. Nah, maybe 14. Maybe yeah, 14. exactly. Yeah. Maybe 14. But I was going to say because even if you're a 14 year old, there either should be someone around you who's like, hey, little buddy, you shouldn't wear that shit. Or you should be old enough to realize, like, well, we all know police fuck with us anyway. Maybe this isn't the best thing for me to wear going into stores. But then we go into the hoodies. Remember, remember when they did that? They had the thing with hoodies. Um, uh, I remember. Uh, Geraldo, well, like Trayvon Martin. Ger- Geraldo Rivera's. Uh, Geraldo. <laughs> Geraldo. Geraldo. Yeah. yeah, motherfucker. Geraldo, big big stash. Yeah, um, yeah. He um, 
I remember he was he was doing a news report. If you could pull this up, he was doing a news report. And he was like, I tell my son not to wear hoodies outside because they they're gonna get you, and they they you look like a hood or something like that. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry for that. And I was comment. like. I love hoodies. I was like, I and like I shouldn't, cause you're. I understand what you're saying. Like, don't wear that outside. You know, they were saying that about hoodies, bro. No, no, I, I get it. I get it. I just, you know, they, like they, they'll weaponize anything that they. Hundred percent. But I will also say too. My parents have always taught me: if you're going to the store, take your fucking hoodie off. Like I'm, I'm just saying. There's, there's, you can weaponize anything, but then there's a difference between it being weaponized. And applying to you, I can easily. But I, I no, I've never been like. My mom warned me about police and everything, but like to when go I went, into a store and take your hoodie off, yeah. like I'm going into a convenience store. I don't have to take my no, fucking hoodie off. I've always been told you take your see different. You're from different Chicago. Chicago. There you go. You always take your hoodie off. Well, you're you're where the problem is <laughs> when you go downtown Chicago. Even when I was younger, she would make me Jamal Jabari. She would always be like. Y'all not going downtown in no fucking t-shirts. You're, put, you're putting on, uh, we'd always have to put on a polo or something. Like, once again, I know these things shouldn't be this way. It should, you shouldn't, shouldn't have, be. you shouldn't, no. But that's your mother being proactive. There you go. And that's all I'm saying. It's but like, everybody's not that. Oh, every no, no, Every parent is not proactive. I know. Every and parent, every parent isn't doing their job either. A, a lot of parents like to see this. Look at him looking like a little. Like I said, a lot of parents aren't doing their jobs either. So, I mean, that's just what it is. But, right. but it's you know it's it's certain things you can do to alleviate for example Trayvon Martin being outside with a hood on when there are outside elements that's ridiculous you see what I'm saying like that makes no sense uh now yeah like I said in the store could be I, I get it a little bit more now should never end that way but I'm saying I understand where people start going hey are you trying to hide your identity you have that on plus a mask you look like a problem. I don't care if you're white, black, whatever. You look. Oh like no, 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 no! The push icy mask makes anyone look nefarious. Yeah. That's I. It doesn't matter if you're black, white. Yeah. If I see a white person in a push icy mask, I'm terrified. Like no, like this nigga thinks he's Central C, bro. I'm fucking terrified of what you're thinking of doing to me, because I know you want to hurt me. You're wearing a push icy mask. <laughs> Pushaisty went to jail. He was rich and, and he, he was wearing shot, the mask. And he was wearing the mask and he shot someone and robbed him. He's, he's still in. He's yeah. He's, yeah, still, he's in still in jail. jail. Oh, good. Is it? Is it, it might be, the, the, No, like some of these people deserve to be in jail. Yeah. Young Thug did that shit. Yeah. Well, you know. Trump's working on getting him out. He has to be treated fairly. He has to be treated fairly. Trump's going to jail, said. too, if he doesn't win. <laughs> if he doesn't win, he's got four years of fucking... He's <laughs> looking over his well, shoulder. I can't pardon nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can pardon myself. I no, don't know. you can't. It's too late. Know. It's A too lot late. of people are talking about it. Yeah, no, you you talk too crazy about the black the the Indian black president. Now yeah. she's coming for your ass. Yeah, she's definitely coming for your and ass. And she has... She's... she's Biden, Officer, probably. I'm white. I let it. I'll just let it. Go. Officer Harris coming after you. She's she's coming for your ass. Yes. Like, remember when he was like trying to get people to sit, uh, for Hillary put her in jail? Yeah. Blah, 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 oh, she's gonna get lock that for her him. up. Yeah. She's not even gonna say that shit. She's she gonna lock, lock him up. up. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's just. Okay. Well. Yeah. We out. Bye. Peace.